Hi everyone, my name is Babur and I am a developer advocate. This video tutorial shows a simple example of how to manage Java based serverless APIs built with Azure Functions and it uses Azure Functions plugin of uh, Apache API 6 API Gateway. You will learn the following throughout this video. What is the serverless APIs and how to build the serverless APIs with Azure Functions and we will expose the serverless APIs as the upstream services in API 6 and then we will secure the serverless API with API 6 authentication plugins and at the end I will show you how you apply rate limiting. Before we get started with the practical side of the tutorial, let's go through the some concepts. Serverless APIs are the same as traditional APIs except they utilize the serverless backend. For business and, uh, de and developers, serverless computing means they no longer have to worry about server maintenance or scaling server resources to meet the user demands. Also, serverless APIs avoid the issue of scaling because they create server resources every time a request is made. Serverless APIs reduce latency because they are hosted on the origin server. Last but not least, serverless computing is far more cost efficient than a traditional alternative such as building entire microservices. An API gateway is the fundamental part of serverless APIs because it's responsible for the connection between the defined API and the function handling request to that API. There are many benefits of API Gateway in the serverless-based APIs architecture. In addition to API Gateway's primary AG functionalities such as authentication, rate throttling, observability, caching, and so on, it's capable of invoking serverless APIs, subscribing to events, then processing them using callbacks, and also forward authentication requests to the external authorization services with completely custom serverless functional logic. With enough theoretical knowledge in mind, now we can jump into a practical session. We use example project repo API 6, uh, many serverless APIs uh, on my GitHub repository. Uh, you can find the source code and sample curl command we, we use in this tutorial. For our mini project, uh, we will work with two simple Azure functions written uh, in Java that simulates our the serverless APIs for product and review services. Now we can uh, start with uh, to set up the, our project. The first thing you clone the project repo from GitHub and open the terminal. You do a git clone uh, with uh, the repo address and the clone is done. We have the copy of the project source code and now you can open the project in your favorite editor. In my case, uh, we are using uh, VS Code in this tutorial. And if you look at the project folders, there are a couple of uh, folders available like API 6 config, API 6 logs, where you can find all the API 6 logs and uh, commands, all the kernel commands, examples can be found in this folder. Also, etcd conf folder, this uh, storage uh, configuration file for API 6, and you can also find the API upstream folder. Uh, Java project with two functions uh, source code, like uh, products and uh, reviews uh, just uh, simple two functions that demonstrate as our uh, serverless apis and uh, we have uh, pom xml that's uh, maven projects that we are running our uh, java functions and uh, next i can now uh, uh, open the new terminal in my case i'm using windows so i have installed a vsdl uh, uh, i need to open the vsdl terminal and do the docker uh, compose uh, app uh, that you know, runs uh, my containers also install on my uh, windows machine uh, you can see the two uh, containers uh, API 6 uh, containers up and running one for API 6 and then another is storage ATCD after we run Apache API 6 API gateway now we need to run our Azure functions to do so, we need to open another terminal and uh, navigate to the upstream folder. Uh, and in our upstream folder, we have these uh, Java functions. I will do Maven clean install first to set up all the project uh, resources and dependencies uh, with Maven. Uh, after successful build, I can do another command Maven. Uh, Azure uh, functions uh, run uh, command that will uh, run for us uh, two functions 
and this function will start our uh, uh, terminal window as you can see uh, to get uh, functions one is for products another for reviews uh, you can request both serverless APIs uh, or the functions in your browser for example I can copy this link and open my the browser and uh, request uh, this function once again if uh, localhost uh, doesn't work you can for example do uh, the, I, uh, the type the IP address of the local host like uh, 127.001 and it will get the hit the Azure function and it gets a response as you can see the this simple JSON object uh, in the response we get like with two products uh, its name and description and if you do the same for reviews function it will return us with a product ID and uh, for, the, for the review given for this product it's very simple in the next step uh, we deploy functions called the Azure function app uh, by uh, running another uh, the, another command like uh, maven uh, command like uh, maven Azure uh, the functions and deploy. Uh, for more information you can refer to the Azure function documentation for Java. Uh, in my case, uh, for the demo case, I have already deployed my uh, Azure functions before the tutorial uh, and as you can see uh, on the Azure portal, uh, my serverless APIs function up uh, uh, in place. And also, uh, after you run uh, Maven Azure Function Deploy, it will bring these our two functions that we run uh, in previous step locally. It will bring to the Azure, uh, and uh, and just to make sure our function works, uh, we can test uh, uh, by making an invocation call directly, uh, requesting uh, these functions with its uh, URL in our browser. For example. Uh, I can request uh, it by serverless APIs, uh, domain azurewebsite.net. If I hit the press, I should get the same response uh, we got uh, in the previous uh, step uh, in the local host. The same with reviews, like uh, if you change it, uh, the path to reviews, I will get reviews uh, response. Uh, but uh, in this scenario, uh, the functions are now uh, available publicly on Azure portal. Once the uh, setup is complete, now we will export serverless Azure function APIs as uh, upstream services in API 6. To do so, we need to create a new route with Azure function plugin enabled for both products and reviews uh, serverless backend APIs. If the Azure function plugin is enabled on the route, API 6 listens uh, for requests on the, that the routes pass, then it invokes a remote Azure function call with the parameters from that request. To create uh, the route for products function, we need to run the following command. As you can see, uh, we are using the kernel command uh, and we, are, we use this kernel command throughout the tutorial and we are trying to request the API 6 admin API and we uh, were uh, now creating new road uh, with put the request and here we are providing a name for the new road and with the uh, plugins uh, in our case now uh, with a single Azure Functions plugins uh, and we are giving the function URI on Azure and you can also notice that we set SSL verified to false uh, uh, this attribute of Azure Functions plugin uh, that disables SSL verification uh, for only the demo purposes you can also enable it, it to perform more secure requests from API 6 to Azure Functions uh, now if I and also uh, you can see the URI uh, so we are giving for this road slash products. If I uh, enter and run this command, API 6 uh, responds successful and I can now test uh, uh, by running another kernel command and send the request to see 
Uh, if API6 listens on the path correctly and forwards our request to the upstream service successfully. Uh, as you can see, we get now the response uh, from the EU function. The same we got uh, from the browser. Uh, but in this case, uh, the uh, API 6 now is acting as a middle layer uh, that requests uh, uh, forwards our uh, the passes to the responsible function. Next, we will make a similar configurations for reviews functions. Maybe we can create another uh, terminal, fresh terminal. And our, we will create uh, our second route with uh, Azure Function plugin enabled, but in this case for reviews uh, function with review of pass. If I press enter, now successful, I can even test uh, if serverless uh, APIs are res I mean, is responding to uh, our request. Here we go, uh, it was successful. As you can see, now we, uh, we can manage uh, both serverless APIs with uh, API 6. And, and we introduced a new route, uh, added the Azure Functions plugin to our service API so that API 6 can invoke remote Azure Functions and manage the traffic. And the next following section, we'll learn how to authenticate API consumers and apply uh, runtime policies, uh, like rate limiting. Up to now, our serverless APIs are fully public and accessible by unauthorized users. Uh, in this uh, section, let's will enable the authentication feature to disallow unauthorized requests to the serverless API. Uh, so let's create new uh, consumer for our uh, serverless uh, API. Uh, and then add the basic authentication plugin. It's yet another plugin offered by API 6 for our existing role, so that only allowed user can access uh, our uh, serverless APIs. Uh, let's mm, let me bring one more uh, command to do so. Uh, the, uh, the below command will create a new, our new consumer uh, with it is uh, credentials as you can see uh, username uh, we see it is uh, password if i press enter now my new consumer created and, uh, and next uh, now we'll configure basic owls plugin for routes to let api 6 check the request header with the api consumer credentials each time these apis are called uh, so, uh, another curl command here, uh, as you can see uh, what we are doing, we are just appending basic uh, OWS plugin uh, to our existing route uh, that uh, we also enabled in the previous step Azure functions. If I press uh, enter, uh, now API 6 uh, registers the basic OWS for the given route and I can do the same uh, for the reviews functions because we did uh, for product route now. Uh, we can uh, enable a basic application uh, for uh, reviews pass. Here we go. And then uh, uh, now uh, if we request serverless API without any user credentials in the header, of course, we will get an, author, an uh, unauthorized error. Let's test that. Uh, I can open the, again new uh, uh, the terminal to test it. I can make it a kernel command without any credentials. And here you see, we are getting uh, 401 unauthorized HTTP code uh, with a message that we are missing authorization request. Uh, the result as we expected. Uh, but if you provide the correct user credentials in the request and access the same point, uh, it should work well. Uh, he, yes, uh, with the uh, correct credentials like uh, username and password, now uh, we are uh, accessing successfully the product's API. And uh, similarly, you can do uh, for the reviews as well. Uh, this uh, second function also responding correctly. We have validated the, the client's identity, uh, like username and password that attempt in the request serverless APIs. Uh, by using basic authentication and uh, of course you can enable other more advanced uh, authentications plugins uh, on API 6 uh, you can check that out what kind of uh, uh, authentication plugins available in the third scenario we'll uh, try to protect our serverless APIs from abuse by applying a throttling policy 
uh, like uh, rate limiting. Uh, Apache Apache Gateway, uh, uh, we can apply rate limiting to uh, restrict number of incoming calls. Uh, for this, uh, there is a limit count plugin to protect our APIs from abnormal usage. Uh, for example, we can uh, limit the number of API calls to uh, two per 60 seconds uh, for our uh, API consumer. Uh, to enable limit count plugin uh, well, for the existing route, I need to run another curl command uh, and we need to add the plugins uh, to the plugins attribute. Let me open the another terminal and run this command. As you can see, I'm appending limit count plugin to the, our existing route with, together with other two plugins so we uh, added in the previous steps. What we are saying is we are uh, saying every two, uh, two uh, within the 60 seconds we can request only twice uh, these uh, APIs. Let's say in our case, products API. If I enter, uh, press enter and run this command, uh, now uh, uh, the plugin is enabled. Uh, in this case, Apache API 6 will handle first two requests as usual. However, the third request in the same period, 60 seconds, will return 403 HTTP forbidden code with uh, some kind of type of uh, custom error message. Let me, for example, try to run uh, uh, try to run the previous command. Uh, this command and then uh, first two requests, as you can see, I can get the response and these uh, correct credentials. But if I uh, attempt to call at the third time uh, for sure we'll get uh, some kind of forbidden error uh, that we are requesting too frequent please uh, try again after 60 seconds you can try uh, to run this uh, uh, curl commands by yourself you can see under the commons folder uh, all these uh, simple curl commands i provided uh, like uh, starting from creating a route uh, for this uh, serverless API and how we are testing it and then up to how we enable the rate limiting for both functions APIs. In this video we learn step by step how to create Java based serverless APIs with Azure functions and Apache API 6 uh, gateway to manage your APIs throughout the full life cycle from the exposing serverless APIs as upstream service in API 6 and to properly secure and apply rate limiting policies. This opens the doors to other use cases of API gateway and serverless APIs integration. You can explore other capabilities of API 6 uh, gateway by chaining of various built-in plugins to transform requests, monitor the availability, performance, and the usage of your serverless APIs. Also cache API responses or further evolve them by versioning them APIs. That helps you to reduce the development time, increase the scalability and cost savings. Apache API 6 is fully open source API gateway solution if you require to have more advanced API management features for serverless APIs, you can use API 7 Enterprise or API 7 Cloud which are powered by API 6. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about Apache API 6, please subscribe to our channels, click on the bell to receive notification about the new videos.